What do you feel when mum feels sad? Um, I feel like cheering her up. Yeah. Helping her and supporting her with whatever is going on. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just felt, you know, she doesn't get, she doesn't go out much. And I just wanted to please her to go out too and just, you know, listen to what she's listening to and try and sort of like put that into my life as well. So, um, so in a lot of ways you're trying to make mum feel better. Yes, yeah, so, so actually mum's addiction is you making her feel better. Does that make sense? Yeah. That does. And so what, what, the reason why mum, that's mum's addiction is because she doesn't want to feel as bad as she feels when it comes to men. And that's related to, of course, as you will quickly identify your relationship with your father. Does that make sense? Yeah. So now what do, what do we do with addictions? Well, there's a few ways we can stop addictions. One way, uh, if you were smoking, there's a, there's a method called cold turkey, you've heard of that, right? <laughs> Which means just stop doing it and see what happens after that and deal with it. So one thing you could try to do, and this is, this is something that would be trying, so it's not what I'd recommend in the end anyway, but one thing you could do is just every time you feel bad, and you notice that your son Michael comes to you trying to cheer you up. You say to Michael, ah, oh, you're trying to cheer me up again. That means I'm denying an emotion. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I'm denying an emotion because Michael's a male, you're denying an emotion of what you want from a male. So what, you, what you're projecting out is, I want a hug from a male, I want a hug from a male. So it you know, comes up, gives you a hug. Or, yeah, I'll, he's been I'll, doing I'll, a bit, been doing that a bit just lately, actually. Yeah. yeah. Or, or, you know, I want to feel good uh, from the male. I need to, you know, I don't have any male in my life, which is the thing you mentioned right, right, right at the beginning. So now Michael's going to be that male in your life for you. That doesn't seem fair. Well, it's not, actually. Now, he feels good doing it sometimes, don't you, Michael? Yeah. And sometimes you don't feel that good doing it either, really, sometimes. No, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it feels a bit like a drag, doesn't it? Like, you need to have some of your own life. So, so this is the issue, is that when, when we do that as a mother towards our son, or as a father, by the way, many fathers do this towards their daughters as well. So when we do that, we set up this dynamic where now he is going to, he, he is now going to have this role with women, this role of looking after a woman. Now that's going to be quite damaging for him later in his life, because he's going to attract a woman who needs looking after. And then he'll look after her and he'll feel that's love. So it's really important that you break this cycle now with, with your own feelings. So what are you going to do? Um, You've heard all yeah, the I know, I know I'm really good. Yeah. <laughs> I get really mixed up when it comes to me. Okay, <laughs> as do we all. <laughs> what are you going to do then? Um, what do you well, think is the best thing? Well, what you suggested, I, I, I like that, uh, recognising when Michael's coming up and giving me a hug, to recognise that I'm going through some sad, uh, sadness or some um, pain associated with uh, feeling... Um, Can I correct you, though? Because you're not going through it. That's the problem. That's why but that's why you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. so he, he's actually coming up to give you the hug because you're not choosing to actually feel the emotion. Yeah. You're projecting around to all the men around you, give me a, give me a hug, rescue me, and he's the closest man around you that comes up and rescues you. Oh, actually, he's the only one that I probably exactly. trust. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So he does that. Yeah. So what it actually means is you're shutting down the emotion. See, he won't feel like he needs to do that when you own it. See, what, often what we do is we, we start feeling the emotion. So, you know, I start feeling like I've got no male in my life, right? So I start feeling that. And I don't want to go to the core of it, which is about my relationship with my dad. Mm. Right? So I'm choosing to not go to the core. And in the choice, that particular choice, as soon as I make that choice, the projection of my son is going to be, you need to fix this for me. You're not thinking it in your head, but that's what he's feeling from you, that you need to fix this for me. Does that make sense? And yes, it does. Fix it for you. I feel like I have been doing a fair bit of work on it, obviously not enough. Well, no, what you're actually doing is you're feeling the effect emotions 
which, but not the core emotion. And you do want him to come and give you a hug, actually. That's one of your addictions. But that's okay, isn't it, now no, and then? No, it's not. Can't you ever give me a hug? No, not, not under these circumstances, oh. no. Now, now, can everyone see why? My, if my addiction is, when I get this hug, I feel better as a woman in my relationships with a man, right? When I get this hug. This hug's coming from my son, right? And I'm feeling better as a woman because, you know, if he's showing me love and he's a male and I'm getting love from a male, right? The problem is, is all that does is feed the addiction. It's like going and getting a shot. You know, if you're a drug addiction, uh, if you're a drug addict, going and get your shot. And that's all it does for you. It actually keeps you out of the emotion. That's what it does for you. So would it be helpful um, to say to Michael, well, Michael, just recognise whenever you want to give me a hug, just say, Mum, you're just, you're no, you're, your emotion. No, see what you're doing now? You're actually putting the onus on Michael <laughs> to cure your problem. That's no good. Right. So why, why do you want to do that? Oh, it's just a band-aid job, I guess. Exactly. And why do you want to do that? Because I you do. Don't... Yeah, I guess I don't. But I, I actually have been trying to get into these emotions to do with my dad. Yeah. And um. But let's be honest with them. You don't want to do it. You've been trying to do it, but your feeling inside is it's pretty scary, and I don't know if I can do this. That's the real feeling inside of you. Does that make sense? You feel pretty frightened about dealing with this stuff about the dad. So the first thing you need to do is acknowledge that. I'm really frightened about this stuff about my dad. I'm really frightened about how much it's influenced my life. I'm really frightened about... Yeah, I'm really about frightened about how it's influenced my children's yep, lives. Yep, yep. <laughs> because they're already grown up women, the other three, like being four. <laughs> That's pretty heavy. So, but see, now you're entering into self-punishment mode and we're getting out of the real core emotion again. The emotion is about your dad. Yep. Right. So, can you see how easy it is just to get out of this, to get out of these core emotions and straight back into the blaming emotions? Straight back into them. We're doing this all the time. There's a lot of self-judgment happening. This is why many of you are feeling quite stuck with processing emotions because what's happening is it you're getting back out of the core emotion and into these self-blame emotions or into self-punishment emotions or wanting the addiction satisfied, which actually keeps you away from the core emotion. So, so in this particular example, Michael comes to you to give a hug. If you actually say to him, don't give me the hug, you're actually lying to yourself. Because the feeling that came from you to Michael before then was to give me a hug. Does that make sense? So, so you would actually be lying to yourself to say to Michael, don't give me a hug, because the feeling from coming from you is give me a hug. Yeah. You follow me? Yeah. So you, when he comes to give you a hug, you have to acknowledge the fact, I wanted him to give me a hug. That's my little attraction, see? Yeah. I wanted him to give me a hug, and that's my addiction. Just admit that to yourself. Right. I wanted this hug, that's my addiction. Right. Why did I want him to hug me right now? What was my feeling just the instant before I wanted him to hug me? What was the feeling that I had that I'm trying to get away from? Ask yourself that. And you'll find in every case it's, it's a feeling about men that you were feeling. And a feeling of being unloved as a woman from a man. You actually have quite good relationships with women, generally. Right? Better than you do with men. Yes. Okay. So, so obviously the, the bigger addiction is going to be towards the male, and hence that's why, even though they're twins, Michael is the one responding. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So every time he comes to give you a hug, acknowledge, I wanted this hug from him. It would be wrong of me to actually say, don't give me a hug, Mike, because actually the feeling was I wanted him to give me one. Right? And then acknowledge, I wanted him to give me a hug because I was feeling, what was the feeling? Insecure, unsafe, whatever the feeling was that you were trying to avoid. Now that's the emotion that is the core emotion that you need to let yourself get into. Does that make sense? It'll be really rapid if you see the trigger. It'll be really rapid for you to see the emotion. 
if you can look at what's going on, he instantly does what he does. Mm. And the way you can help mum, and you don't have to by the way, because that's your call, the way you can help mum is to only hug her when you feel like she doesn't want one. <laughs> I like hard work right. to think about that. <laughs> Alright, so, because um, whenever she wants one, actually what you're doing is coming and actually helping her addiction. But, it's not, but, but I must point out, it is not Michael's responsibility to solve this problem. It is the parents' responsibility to solve this problem. Mm. And can I point out that because for Michael, what he's learning is the way I get love from a woman is if I suppress my own desires and put theirs before mine, then I get all these lovely feelings from a woman. And so then that must be love. If I do that for a woman, that's what loving is in a relationship because that's what he's learning with his mum. But once you clear your emotions, it might be strange for him as well because he's got this addiction of if I make mum feel better, then I feel loved. So you're not going to be asking for him to make you feel better all the time either. But, like, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that makes sense? Yeah. But really, after that, when you're not carrying that big injury around, you will have hugs with your son. It just won't be based on this need. need. So, that, so one emotion that you may feel, Michael, when Mum's going through this is you might feel like she doesn't want a hug from you anymore, and you might feel that you might feel unloved then. Does that make sense? Because you're so used to giving it. Yeah. Yeah. And if you feel that, and just let yourself feel that, and work through that issue, because it, this will impact a lot on your relationships with girls. So, so you don't want to keep getting girlfriends that you've got to look after the rest of your life. Right? <laughs> you don't want to do that. You want to get a girl who you've got a good relationship with, and you can get along together with without having to look after her all the time, right? And, uh, and that would be not a good, a good relationship. So that, so it, it's very good if you can work through this issue. You find Michael be able to work through that issue very rapidly. Yeah. Okay. Remember, it's about your dad yeah. and feelings of un lack of safety, lack of security, lack of um, you know, not being loved from a male, those kind of feelings. Every time, notice your behaviour, notice his behaviour as your law of attraction. Yeah. Remember yesterday in that talk we said, that our children's behaviour is our law of attraction. Yeah. Yes. Not, not theirs not so much, it's ours. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does that help any? Um, okay. You have a it's question? It's a hard now. bit actually, is yeah. just getting into and recognising that and going and dealing with it, I suppose. That's, yes. That, that. Yeah. At the moment, there is a strong desire in you to not deal with the underlying you're afraid. So while you're intellectually telling yourself, I must do it, I must do it for the sake of my children, I must do it in particular for the sake of my self, I must do it for, for my own self, there's a feeling inside of you of fear about doing it. And if you can acknowledge those fears, it will help you a lot. In fact, this is where the fear list that I mentioned earlier is very handy, writing a list of all the fears about your relationships with men. Not just what you're afraid of from men, but what you're afraid of not getting from men. Mm -hmm. And let yourself deal with those, because underneath those are the causal emotions that you feel with your father that need to be healed. But if you can at least acknowledge every single time he comes to support you, many times it's driven by an emotion inside of you that you want his support. Mm. Little question though now that the Michael's got in his mind that only to give me a hug when he feels like I don't need it. It's still going to be a law of attraction though, isn't it? You, you are going to, because of the addiction, you are going to project at Michael, I want a hug. Right? And if he doesn't give it to you, there's a high likelihood you're going to get angry in your current condition. Okay. So that's something you've got to be very careful of. So that would be another thing I need to be aware of. Yeah. If I get angry then, then with Michael. With Michael then there's an issue here of you not feeling loved by a man now. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yeah. And it's a denial of the lower emotion of not wanting, like, you, before, see, if he stops doing the addiction, you might finish up getting angry with him, right? Because you still want the addiction. Yeah. So what, what happens to a smoker when you take away his cigarettes for a day? Mm -hmm. 
what happens to a smoker. They get pretty like they didn't want to give up you. cigarettes. You no. take away their cigarettes for a day. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's no. what my, if, if Michael decided, no, today I'm not going to do what mum wants from me. I'm only going to do what I feel what I want to do for mum. That's going to trigger you quite a lot if you decided to do that. Right. And if you feel anger towards Michael, that's another <laughs> suggestion. I'm just denying my own emotion here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Right. If you just acknowledge those things, it'll help you get to the underlying emotion. All right. Yeah. yeah thank you. No worries. Yeah.